Well, tensions remain high along the Lebanese border after the sharpest escalation in more than four years between Hezbollah and Israel. Iran-backed Hezbollah says it attacked an Israeli army base and a nearby military vehicle on Sunday. Israel responded with artillery strikes and helicopter fire. CNN's Oren Lieberman now joins us live from northern Israel with more on the latest on this situation. Oren. Natalie, we're standing here in northern Israel, very close to the Israel-Lebanon border. In fact, that's southern Lebanon there behind me. And you already get a sense of how, th how quickly things have changed since Sunday afternoon. There are cars driving normally on the road here behind us. And as we saw in the town we were in uh, this morning, everyone is sort of getting back to their normal routine. There is, however, a drone we hear overhead, and that is an indication that tensions here remain high. And this round all starts on Sunday afternoon when Iran-backed Hezbollah in Lebanon fired a series of anti tank missiles at a military headquarters right along the border. Israel says those anti-tank missiles struck a building inside the military headquarters as well as a military vehicle, though they say no Israeli soldiers were injured in the strike. Israel's retaliation included more than 100 artillery shells fired towards where those anti-tank missiles were fired from, as well as what Israel termed very limited helicopter strikes. But as quickly as this began, it was over. Within two hours of those anti-tank missiles being fired, the Israeli military had lifted restrictions on civilians in Gaza and uh, on uh, the northern border. And that, as we've seen along the Gazan border, is a very strong indication that Israel, for now at least, believes this round of fighting is over. And certainly as we look around with those civilian restrictions being lifted, that's what it looks like now. But the situation remains tense. How did this start? Well, Hezbollah had promised to retaliate after Israeli strikes in Syria uh, about a week and a half ago. Israel says they were thwarting a drone attack from Iranian forces based in Syria. There were also drone strikes in Beirut widely attributed to Israel. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah had vowed Israel would respond, and Israel was expecting that response. That's what we saw play out across the Israel-Lebanon border on Sunday afternoon. Natalie. Yeah, and as we said, the first time uh, this has happened in several years, uh, from all indications, are people carrying on with their uh, normal lives after this? It looks that way right now from the people we've seen, from the driving we've done through a few of the cities and towns between where we started our morning and now. This is certainly not a peaceful border. There is no relations between Israel and Lebanon, certainly not between the Israeli military and Hezbollah. Yet for years it was the quietest border and perhaps one of the calmest. And even if it is tense, people here are used to living under that tension. And that's what it seems they're doing once again this morning. All right, Oren Lieberman for us there in northern Israel. Oren, thank you. But first, the tensions that have been escalating along the Lebanese border. Now, over the past week, there have been several tit-for-tat exchanges between the Israeli military and Hezbollah, Iran's most powerful regional proxy. Let's take a look at reactions from local residents caught in that crossfire. Some of them have become accustomed to these attacks, whilst others have been sheltering in bunkers. Not your usual Sunday entertainment. As Israel and Hezbollah exchanged fire, these Lebanese villagers gathered on this mountaintop to watch the show. It was a family affair, complete with music. We were the first ones here to see the shots. Even after quiet had returned, the villagers continued to keep a lookout. But they're taking things in their stride. We were scared, but around here we're used to it, so we weren't that scared. The atmosphere was very calm, we were patient, we're used to it, so we remained determined and calm and just kept on smoking with our loved ones. On the Israeli side, the inhabitants weren't worried either. And yet it was here in this kibbutz that a Hezbollah anti-missile tank landed. You know, the army and the... Something on the, on the air, you know, we feel that there is some tension, but in the kibbutz, we, we live like uh, yesterday and the, and the year before. In the neighboring village, some people have had enough. Conflicts like this one impact their daily lives. No one from the government comes here. This place is like an army base. The tanks destroyed the road during the first war and nobody repaired it. 
In 2006, a war between Israel and Hezbollah left 160 Israeli soldiers dead and killed 1,200 Lebanese civilians. With this new spike in violence, the United Nations is calling for maximum restraint.